All right, let's talk about a, a common uh, misconception uh, that a lot of times we get uh, with students. When um, <clears throat> they're multiplying, uh, I'm sorry, when they're trying to add uh, numbers with uh, unlike denominators, they know, they understand that they have to get a common denominator. Um, so what they do is they figure out their common denominator, and for this one, our common denominator is 12. So therefore, I'm going to multiply my 4 times a 3 and my 6 times a 2. Oops, that's a 6 again. Well, what they forget is they forget to multiply the numerators by that same number, making equivalent fractions. So what they're going to have is they end up having 3 twelfths plus 1 twelfth. And I want to show you why that is not going to be the same, why it's so important for you to make sure you multiply your numerator and your denominator by the same term. So let's take a look really originally what um, uh, the answer should be. If you were to multiply your numerator and your denominator by their same number, what you should get is actually 9 over 12 plus 2 over 12. And therefore, you know that 9 twelfths and 3 fourths are equivalent fractions, and 1 sixth and 2 twelfths are equivalent fractions. So let's take a look at what the bars would look like for these if I was going to uh, do this. Okay. So what I have is I have two bars here. Okay. So originally my problem I had it in um I had something originally in force, right? And I had three of them. And I was gonna add those three fourths to one sixth. Okay? Um, well, what I would have done to figure this problem out is, again, I need to put them into 12s. So by putting them in the 12s, what I have here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now I have them in the 12s, and this one is in the 12s. So if I add what I'm adding originally, if you would have added 3 12s plus 1 12, your answer if you just multiplied the denominators and never changed the tops, your answer would have been in 12s. If you can see, this is represented now in 12s. Your answer would be th 4 12s. 3 plus 1 is 4. And obviously, you notice that this fraction, the blue in here plus this blue, is going to give me a fraction. My ending answer should be somewhere up here, right? Because I have all of this area plus this. So if I look at it, if I now do it this way, 9 twelfths plus 2 twelfths should give me 11 twelfths. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that would make sense because this angle or this amount plus this fraction. If I was going to put this back on top, it would give me a fraction that's going to be right around that amount, which would be eleven twelve. So that's why it's very important to make sure that we multiply our numerator and our denominator by the sum na same number, so that we get our correct answer. If we just multiply our denominators, we're not going to get the correct answer.